Let's take a look at the jade chamber. Wow. I don't think there's any uh, hidden stuff around the jade chamber. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a cool it's a nice cool look. Okay, anyway. Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. I'm going to continue a new star purchase. So we met Keqing uh, last time. And now we are going to get ingredients for uh, to bring a greeting gift to Ningguang. Okay, so all the standing around is making me so sleepy. Yeah, let me go there first. I'm not sure what's what's going what's going to happen. There. Ooh, look at that slime. You want the slime? Okay. Paimon, you're becoming like Sing Xiangling. <laughs> Let's light it up. Crush. Okay, that's one. Oh, what's this? Sounded like someone calling for help. Sounded like someone was singing. I didn't hear though any anything. So. It seems like it came from those ruins oh, over there. Oh, okay. Uh oh, it looks like the treasure orders have locked someone inside. Well then, time to save that someone. Hi? That's what you want. Extra sweet sweet flower. <laughs> and where's the guy in the cage? This one. I need a key. Oh, okay. Wait. Rude. Oh, now we got. Now we got the key. Okay. <laughs> Meng Dan. Thank you for your help, kind travelers. If you hadn't come to my aid. Surely would have rotted in this cell. Those treasure hoarders. When their mood was good, they'd rearrange those pots of sweet flowers. When they were in a bad mood, they'd rearrange my face. <laughs> oh, I was nothing. No need to thank us all at once or anything. <laughs> uh, I understand. Don't worry. I will compensate you. Really, no need. Don't say that. I only escaped this predicament because of you. I'm Meng Dan. A supplier for Mingxing jewelry in Liyue Harbor. I often walk around these mountains in search of antiques. I never expected that those treasure hoarders would have their eyes on the same ruins that I had. Before I knew it, they'd caught and imprisoned me. Is there anything that you lack? Uh, antiques, treasure, various uh... knickknacks, you name it. Well, as long as you want what I have to offer, of course. Wait a moment. Actually, we are looking for something. Oh? Huh? And what might that be? Do you have a box that can store presents? We oh, like a okay. pretty one. The kind that you can use to store snacks. Of course we do. <laughs> How can one sell antiques without gift boxes? At Mingxing Jewelry, we have the best gift wrapping service in the Seven Nations. Now just give me a moment and I'll let the boss know. You can go see her whenever you require that box. All right, Great! Then. Paimon Sugar Frosted Slime now comes in a beautiful package. <laughs> nice. Go to Ming Sing Jewelry. I'm starting to get familiar with Lee right now. Hey there! A guy called Meng Dan told us that we could get a nice and shiny box from your store. Uncle Meng already told me about it. Thank you both for saving him. Many of the best goods in our store were found by Uncle Meng. If anything were to happen to him, it would be impossible for us to continue doing business. Here, this container is itself an antique with at least 140 years of history. It's already been cleaned. Will it do? 
Yep, yep, yep. It's great. <laughs> Hang on a moment. Can we borrow one other thing? Sure. Please help yourselves. As long as it's on our shelves. Traveler, this clay pot looks really awesome. Clay pot? If we use an antique as our mixing bowl, we should be able to make a great snack. It's done! The one and only sugar frosted slime! Carefully now, into the box it goes and dust it over with a bit more powdered sugar. Oh, yes. You might want to use these two freshly picked flowers as decorations, too. Woohoo! It looks beautiful! Mmm. Okay, <laughs> the slime though. <laughs> I'm still not sold on this gift idea. Great! Now that we've put all that we've got into this box, well, let's okay, go to the I hope it goes well. <laughs> it's good though, we've got everything we need icing on the slime. Let's take a look at it. A healthy dose of boom shakalaka. <laughs> okay. Look for the guide to the jade chamber. Okay, I think I know where. Just keeping an eye if there's any treasure anywhere. I think I took them all. Ah, yeah, here, I remember. You go up from here, actually. According to coaching, this is what we should say. Excuse me, do you sell the moon here? Do you sell the moon here? Yes. How many would you like? Oh. It's not convenient to speak of numbers here. Ah, well said. Please, use this to ascend to the chamber. Ah, uh, yes. Speaking of which, are you two the guests that Lady Ningguang has arranged to meet yes. with today? Yep. And yet the code they used was not the one for guests, but for the Yuhang. Oh. What's going on here? Well, it was Ke Ching that gave us that, uh, <laughs> that code. But what was the code for guess? <laughs> oh, we're on the jade chamber now. Ah, that's Ningguang. I've been waiting for you, returnee from Joyeon Karst. <gasps> it's Ningguang! Since this is our first meeting, um, we've prepared a gift. I hope you like it. Oh, for me. You have my thanks. It seems that I have made things difficult for you, considering that you were supposed to be my guests. <laughs> oh no, it's nothing. It's my first time coming to a place this high up. Well, we've gone higher, I think. But I guess, uh... I'll say this cheat chamber, nice place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you like it too. This palace floats in the skies, higher than the peak of any mountain. From this vantage point, one may survey all of Liyue. I have been gathering the funds necessary to build it from the time I began learning the merchant's craft. And since becoming the Tianchun, I have spared no effort in hiring the best craftsmen to constantly extend it. Wow. At first, it was but the size of one room. Now, it is large enough to blot out the moon in the skies above Liyue. <laughs> One day, I believe it will overshadow all seven nations. Oh, this Tianchuan does not lack for ambition. Not many from outside Liyue earn the right to ascend to the Jade Chamber. But I have been in correspondence with the acting Grand Master of the Knights oh, of Avonis, Jean? who spoke highly of you. <laughs> As such, I have been putting eyes and ears out ever since you reached Liyue. What? And I finally got wind of your movements when you were on the way to Wang Shu Inn. Oh, she knows already. Uh, wait! Was Ver Goldet one of your people? <laughs> Just Ver Goldet? No. Everyone at Wang Shu Inn is one of ours. Everyone at Wang Shu Inn? <laughs> we also ran into the Yu Heng not long ago. Yeah, we met Ke Ching. At the Guizhang Ballista, yes? Yes. Uh, you weren't peeking on us from the skies the whole time, were you? <laughs> <laughs> I fear that peeking would have been a little difficult from this altitude. Our eyes and ears are more than sufficient. 
You two are very interesting people, after all. It would be natural to take an interest. Kaching said that the Chi Sing would not wish ill on Lex Lapis. Well, I wouldn't expect you to trust us, considering that you have had far more interactions with the Adepti. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the reason I invited you here was to clear up some misunderstandings. Okay. So there's some misunderstandings, eh? Speak to Ningguang. Oh yeah, Ningguang, I have you do. <laughs> uh, why is Ningguang a four-star character? I guess it's good that she's a four-star character. Easy to get her. <laughs> I believe that you've heard of the Archon War. Many gods used to walk this earth. And many long wars were fought between them that did not abate until 2,000 years ago. Much blood was shed, and many lives were lost. In the end, only seven victors remained standing in Tibet. Seven. They built cities and nations on the corpses of the vanquished, and thus began the era of the Seven. You can see Goyun Stone Forest from here, I trust. It is no natural rock formation. Those are giant spears of rock hurled by Rex Lapis during the war. Ooh. Beneath the spears lie those oh, cast islands. down by Rex Lapis in those days. Gods that failed to seize the title of Archon. So Rex Lapis has defeated gods. Okay. And not only is it true that gods may die, but so too has the membership of the Seven changed over the last two millennia. Rex Lapis's passing is an unimaginable disaster for Liyue. But the Order of the Seven will not collapse simply because of that. Another Lord of Geo will arise sooner or later. Yet, how are we to forget Rex Lapis? When that time comes, the relationship between the people of Liyue and the gods and Adepti will surely be different from before. Even in a new era, the Liyue Chi Sing remain Rex Lapis's former subjects. Do you really think us capable of having played a part in his demise? Of lacking the foresight to see the certain repercussions. Why hide the Exuvia then? I remember Child was wanting to know also why are they chasing hiding the Exuvia? <laughs> that day at Yujing Terrace, it was also very sudden. Even I was caught completely off guard. You yeah. were there, you no doubt saw. But our enemy has long lain hidden within the harbor. If we do not act against them now, they will surely gain the upper hand. Who is the enemy? Hiding the Exuvia was a necessary maneuver to take the initiative back. To play the spider while our foes scurry about. Who's this yeah. enemy you're Who's this talking enemy? about? The Fatui? What do you think, Traveler? Is it him? It's him. Was it child all this time? Talking about well answered. Uh, uh -huh. <sighs> the scenery out here is fine indeed, but the wind is a little strong. Our preparations to receive guests within are complete. So please, this way. Was it really? Enter the premises, okay. Can I just fall down? <laughs> Better not lah. I, I wanna walk around just to see... Can I even? But probably there's nothing here. I'm supposed to enter but I'm exploring a bit. <laughs> oh well, let's just go back. Go, Barbara, go! Okay, anyway. Let's enter. There's two ways down. Right, Ningguang. <laughs> Let's see. Be at ease, you two. Make yourselves at home if you wish. Can we really? I have invited you two here as friends. 
And when friends come over to play, our enjoyment comes first. Is this what I think Naturally. it is? Oh, isn't this that legendary wall? Legendary Why, wall? you've kept your ear to the ground, I see. That's because even the storytellers are talking about it. Everyone's after a piece of paper from that wall. It's super famous. That's because that wall records Leo's secrets. Merchants have always been attracted to secrets. But the secrets of the mercantile world are of no interest to you, are they, Traveler? You're rather special, really. And I think you're quite aware of that. If possible, I'd like to have your trust. But if you were to choose the more trustworthy person between myself and Kuching... Between... Ning Gong and Kuching? Uh, between your orthodoxy and her heterodoxy, I go with Kuching and her skepticism of the divine. Alright, but we haven't really trust any of them yet. <laughs> Maybe so far... Kuching? <laughs> You'd pick Kuching? Nah, I had a feeling. I originally feeling? thought her a bit too hard-headed. <laughs> With someone of her character on the Qixing, I've had some extra messes to clean up behind the scenes. But after she said those words, the time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? Well, I must say that quite a few of my doubts have been dispelled. I won't deny that Rex Lapis's passing seems advantageous to us. But, for Liyue's sake, we cannot allow ourselves to be shackled by rumors of our usurpation of power. The Fatui has a hand in these rumors. Indeed. It seems that you understood what I meant to say from the very beginning. Yeah. I called for the gag order and for the Exuvia to be hidden to temporarily stabilize the situation. And also to prevent something similar to the incident in Mondstadt. Okay, so they all know what happened in Mondstadt. With Rex Lapis's death, the Fatui have busied themselves with many clandestine actions beyond their diplomatic remit. As the Tianchuan, one responsible for Liyue, I cannot be too concerned with appearances when opposing them. Allowing the rite of parting to take place was also meant to buy some time for us to take control of Liyue's administration. It's exactly as Zhongli said. The Qixing only provided the venue for the right so they could use us for their own ends. Wait, that's right. Speaking of ends, could I say one other thing? Mm -hmm. Of course. Diamond's heard that anyone who sends a greeting gift gets a little something in return. So, really fine one. Us? <laughs> it's all right. I like direct people. Well, we have made quite a bit of trouble for you recently. How about this? You can pick any one object here as you please. And you may take it with you. Any one object? Yay! Paima was just waiting for you to say that! Let's see, what should we get? <gasps> one of the sheets on that wall! Eh? Really? That's what you want? Even if it's only as large as Paimon's fingernail. Just imagine how much more a whole untorn sheet would sell for. <laughs> Let's grab one. The biggest will pick a piece of paper snow. Um Let's check. So the one circle, huh? I guess? I want this is what you wanted to choose. <laughs> I don't see this. Sigil of permission, something, Sigil of permission. something, for two for research, two copy. Huh? Huh? Aw, oh, that doesn't sound like treasure at all. Oh, this piece of paper 
paper shows that a chasing spy discovered traces of classified Fatui research on the sigil of permission. Wait a minute. Sigil permission, the one we have? Fatui. Eh? Oh, Ningguang did say that the Fatui have been up to all kinds of mischief in the shadows of Liyue. Spreading rumors, wanting to get their hands on the Archon's body and whatnot. Wait but research on the sigil of permission? Paimon wonders what they're up to. Speaking of which, there's also some connection between you and the sigil of permission. Seems there's still more for us to find out. It's all unfolding a little too perfectly. Ningguang is clearly trying to steer us there. Oh, you really think so? Well, should we not go then? Mm, that's not what I meant. Oh, so you're saying that it's precisely because we can't completely trust Ningguang that we should confirm the truth of what she says for ourselves. Hmm. That's way out of Paimon's league. Paimon thinks she's been nothing but good to us. Well, yeah, that's true. Mm, anyway, we'll see if you're onto something. Um, before we look for Zhongli at Dihua Marsh, yeah, let's go to the place marked out on these papers and see if the Fatui really are up to no good there. Okay. <laughs> Wait, where did Ningguang go? <laughs> Scale. So Ningguang stays here. Oh, Ningguang is here actually. <laughs> I didn't see her. So, have you made your choice? You don't have to confirm it with me. Just choose one and take it. Afterwards, why not sit down for a while in the Jade Chamber? Or have a short stroll? Rest is also an integral part of any journey. Come now. There's no need to stand on ceremony. <laughs> Loosen up a little. Oh, it's night already. So we can just fly? From here? That's cool. <laughs> but if we want to go back up, we need to use that guy eh, to go up here again. If only there was a waypoint we can have here. <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's go there. Let's take a look at the jet chamber. Wow. I don't think there's any uh, hidden stuff around the jet chamber. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a cool... It's a nice cool look. Okay, anyway. Um, I'm actually running out of uh, energy. I better... Okay, maybe I'll, we'll just focus on fighting them first. There we go, one more down. Okay. No need to handle these guys. Finally! Investigate the Fatui research. Hmm. 
trying to reproduce or they're copying the pattern? I haven't seen this pattern before. But where? Oh, Paimon knows! It looks just like the sigil of permission the child gave you. Oh. Two we are up to something, this paper is only a snippet of a bigger plan. And the plot thickens! We'll need to keep an eye on Child, that's for sure. <sighs> Child is using us, right, of course. Alright, that's enough sticking around here. We gotta go meet up with Zhang Li soon. The last stop on our right of parting preparations tour is Di Huan Marsh. Alright. I guess I need someone to help me here. <laughs> this puzzle I can't solve alone again. Oh, right there, I see. Right on time. I myself only arrived moments ago. Did you enjoy your visit to the Jade Chamber? It was so big and pretty and expensive. Paimon's never seen such a fancy schmancy place before. Indeed. It's second to none in all of Liyue. Second to none. <laughs> then you met with Ningguang, I trust? Mm hmm What did you talk about with her? She's super rich and so generous. <sighs> Paimon thinks she's very friendly. Yeah, his take on Ningguang is quite different from Paimon's. He thinks that even the tactless Yu Hung is more trustworthy than her. <laughs> oh, so yep. you also met with Kuching then? Hmm. What did she have to say? She said the time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liu and Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liu? <laughs> no respect for the divine. Indeed, contrary to the Everbold Kuching. Ningguang is more of a businesswoman at heart. Though they are both members of the Qixing. Yeah. Although she's friendly, there's no way of clearly discerning her true intentions. Highly ambitious, highly intelligent. Yes, she has only relied on herself to rise to her current position. No ordinary person could ever achieve that. It's said that she's the one behind the constant expansion of the Jade Chamber. It's the second most important thing to her. Even if she ever gave up the position of Tianquan, she would never give up the Jade Chamber. Ooh. The Jade Chamber is only second? What's the most important thing to her then? Why, Mora, of course. <laughs> Makes sense. All Ningguang talked about was the Fatui this and the Fatui that. She said that after Rex Lapis was murdered, the Fatui have constantly been trying to sink their fingers into Liyue and that they aren't to be trusted. That is how the Fatui have always been. It doesn't surprise me in the least. And now they are trying to reproduce the sigil of permission, yep. No matter what they may be planning, you must be careful when dealing with the Fatui. Always be on your guard. All right. So, is there anything we need to get for the rite of parting in Diwa Marsh? Yes, as a matter of fact, there is. Today, we'll be gathering wild glaze lilies. Glaze lilies? The blue flowers I get to ascending one. Glaze lilies? But why did we come all the way out yeah, here? Yeah, Eugene Terrace has a lot. the garden in Eugene Terrace have some? Even, Even Jing Jing say, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Those lilies have all been gardened by people. They won't oh. do it all. 
Dihua Marsh used to be full of glaze lilies. It is a sort of joyful flower that listens to human song. Before the Arkhan War, Dihua Marsh was all dry land and fertile soil. But the war caused landslides, and the land was flooded, turning it into the marsh you see now. Nearly all the glaze lilies were wiped out. Of course, there are some kinds of flowers that have been preserved and gardened by people in the city. But very few people know that glaze lilies may still be found in the wild. Wild glaze lilies have the strongest fragrance. If we want to follow the true tradition of the rite of parting, we must grind up the wild lilies and place the powder in a censer of everlasting incense. Okay. But I'll need your assistance in gathering these flowers. You need me to pick them? No, I need you to sing to them. Singing to the flowers will make them more fragrant. Sing to the flowers? Ah, so how good is your singing? Uh... Really? Why doesn't Paimon believe you? We'll only know once he starts singing. <laughs> Search for wild glaze lilies with only okay. Guess we found one. <laughs> or tree. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Isn't that uh, the tune Barbara sings? What oh, what? These flowers are jumping. They look really angry. Um. Is it because you sing a song to Mondstadt that they don't understand Carolina? <laughs> really? Oh my god. Ah. Uh. All oh, right, there you go. <laughs> Those weren't glaze lilies. Glaze lilies wouldn't hit me. <laughs> Those flowers put up quite a fight. This little monster is oh, yeah, whopper flower. Whopper flower. Whopper flower. Okay. Hmm. Strange. These petals look interesting. We've met those flowers before in Dragon Spine. <laughs> The glaze lilies used as a disguise were buried with the whopper flower for too long. The result seems to have surprisingly potent medicinal value. Let's collect what we can of these petals. Okay. Well, that's nice and all, but will those petals be useful for the rite of parting? Unfortunately, <laughs> no. Ugh, that's so lame. Excuse me. Ah, can you? Are you searching for glaze lilies? No. Oh. Can you? Uh, I can't remember. Hello, traveler. I'm surprised you still remember my name. Ah, that reminds me. How was your visit to the Jade Chamber? Well, it sure would have been better if you told us how to get up there. Yeah, you didn't tell us how to get up there. Didn't I tell you the way? Surely I did. No, you didn't. Uh, guess it was our fault for not asking. It isn't a secret, so perhaps you just assume we knew. Oh, I see. <laughs> uh oh, I guess I really did forget to tell them. Oh. Huh. Something seems a little off about Ganyu. She's acting different from the first time we met. Where's her <laughs> yeah. serious attitude now? <laughs> Well, I met you at that time as an emissary of the Tianquan. But now, I am simply out on a stroll to see the flowers. Oh, okay. You came all the way out here to see the flowers? Why not just enjoy the gardens of the city? <sighs> Yujing Terrace is where Rex Lapis parted from this world. If I strolled through those lonely gardens now, I wouldn't be able to bear it. Whenever my duties take me near Yujing Terrace these days, I draw the windows to block my view of the gardens. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't have brought it up. No, it's quite all right. I just haven't processed my emotions yet. When the Archon War came to its end 2,000 years ago, the first iteration of the Seven would gather in Liyue and drink with Rex Lapis. But five of those original Seven had already passed before Rex Lapis. It's truly oh? a changing of the guard. Does that mean... Yes. 
Now that the spirit of Rex Lapis has returned to the heavens, only Barbados of Mondstadt remains of the first seven. Oh. The other five, including Inazuma's Raiden Shogun, are no longer the same friends from 2,000 years ago. So Raiden are no longer the same friends? Okay. Of the current seven Archons, the youngest is Sumeru's god of Dendro. She is merely 500 years old, whereas Rex Lapis was more than 6,000 years old at the time of his passing. Dendro, this that's means the that Leila one. had been under Rex Lapis's rule from the moment it was first founded 3,700 years ago. The city has never had to bid farewell to its deity. So what do you think of this farewell? Huh? This... This is a little sudden. I... As a mortal, I've never dared to imagine a Liyue without Rex Lapis. But as an Adeptus, I think I will eventually come to grips with reality. Since Rex Lapis has passed, the time of Liyue's contract with the gods and Adepti has now reached its end. Huh? Did you just say as an Adeptus? Yes, I... I am a mix of human and Chilean. Mm -hmm. Adeptus blood flows through my veins. I fought for Rex Lapis and the city of Liyue during the Archon War. After the war ended, I signed a contract with Rex Lapis and took the yeah, position so how as old secretary are you? for the Chising. You have Chilean, I've continued those duties the to this very day. Well... Uh, <laughs> let's save that conversation for another day. Okay. You say that you are here looking for glaze lilies? I also know where wild glaze lilies can be found. See, I've just picked one myself. Here, you may have it if you wish. <laughs> we dare not refuse it. Oh, so did you sing a song before you picked the lily? Indeed, I did. I know this tradition well. In fact, I sang a local Leoa ballad to it. Wow, so you really know your stuff, too. Thanks, Gunya. No, it is you who I should be thanking. If not for this chance meeting, I never thought that I would be able to contribute to the upcoming farewell for our ancient lord. If you would excuse me, I should return to my work now. Good luck. And that just about does it. Our preparations for the rite okay. of parting are mostly finished. Given the ease of picking glaze lilies, I think this was a fitting end to our tasks in more ways than only one. only seems suited to working in agricultural development. Yeah, Paimon <laughs> can already imagine him starting a business in Liyue. <laughs> I've had enough ventures in my life already. Beginning a new undertaking is always difficult at first and requires no small amount of effort. And once business is at full steam, the stress of it all only wears away at you over time. So you must be careful to take the time to step back and re-examine yourself. If left unchecked, the wear and tear on your heart may go well past mending. Wow. See? Jolly <laughs> sounds like he's already seen it all. Yeah. All right. I think it's about time we head back to Leo at Harbor now. Never thought we'd see Zhongli and Ganyu since I already saw that uh, 2. Point, what? 4? Was it 2.4? Ladies, uh. adventure team, assemble! <laughs> oh boy. And now I'm reaching the, this story already. Eh? Okay, so we went to the jade chamber and then come here. Actually, we stopped uh, to know that Fatu is up to something. And now we got to find some place lilies. And now we need to go back to the harbor. Alright. I think we'll end it here for now. So next is uh, Solitary Fragrance. Okay, yeah. Alright, I think yeah, that will be it for now. So thank you guys for watching this video. See you guys next time.